Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley. Today we're playing the game Graveyard Keeper. Perfect for the Halloween spooky months. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know how much this game is. It looks to be like a little over 15 pounds. Um, I don't understand the Xbox store, but I'm playing this on my Xbox One. Um, cool. If you'd like to check out this game and maybe find out the price, there's links in the description. It's also available on Steam. If you'd like to check me out on various social media platforms and um, other places, my links are also in the description. And if you'd like to support my content, consider pledging to me on Patreon. That's also in the description. It's been a busy couple of weeks. Let's play this game. I heard there's farming in this, um, and it's spooky. I'm basically writing up this huge article of like 20 farming games, and I figured maybe maybe we should maybe we should play this one because it's also about dead people, and that's Halloween, and it's also got farming apparently. So I've got to discover what the farming is really. This already feels super rambly, but you know, I'm procrastinating on other work by creating content here. And this is taking its time loading, so I'm just gonna fill up the silence. Basically, this weekend, in like four days, <laughs> I'm uh, holding a game jam. Which should be fun. Also scary. And then, like, the week after, well, actually, like, two days after, I'll be in Sweden for Sweden Games Conference, which is, again, a lot. I'm giving a talk on political game jam games, which should be super fun, um, and I'm definitely prepared. Uh, sure. And I'm also judging a couple of things, and I'm also helping out with some of the games that are there, as well as just attending and eating ramen. I have really nice ramen places uh, by Sweden Game Conference. And I really like ramen. Then the week after that, I'm giving a talk at a university, and hopefully making it back to London in time for a press release party. I don't really know what to call them. The sort of parties that press are invited to to get content. Yay! It is an ordinary day and our hero is hurrying home where someone very important is waiting for him. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. Aww. Oh, she's holding a huge heart as well. well that didn't sound good. <laughs> What happened? Where is everything? Calm down, you merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. We need to go home. Can I go home? Uh, there's always a way to get home. Hmm, let's see, your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Jerry, he'll help you sort everything out. Who? What a strange vision. Was this a nightmare? Okay, let's find Gary. I mean, this isn't your house. Right, so we've got like a fire. I'm just gonna look at everything because I, I want to. Like berry juice. This hatch is closed for now. Fair. Alright, fine. We'll do what we're meant to do. Let's dig up this guy. <laughs> Holy sorry, I'm a skull. Are you Jerry? Hmm. Why would you think I'm Jerry? A man with a red eye told me that I need to dig up Jerry. A red eye, I remember. Oh, Sard, that's right. I'm Gary. Jerry? I'm Jerry. How'd you find me? The man told me that you'd answer all my questions. Good, good, but first, let me ask who you are. Let me ask you, who are you and where the Sard are we? I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm, you're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember the sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange, and this makes sense. I definitely remember that bell and a donkey. Something is very wrong with that animal. Hmm, could be dangerous. You know, I think it'll be better if you wait. If I wait here for you, I might be. I might scare the poor thing. Ah, oh, I can read. Hello, donkey. Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. You can understand me. Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This car isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. And I only earn five carrots a day. The situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? I mean, I don't. I'm, I'm in a dream. The bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to get back to the town. You get rid of this one and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. So we've got a corpse. Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fun and it might be profitable. Oh, I'm going to puke. Let's do it. 
Alright, pick up items. Sorry, I like this place. Feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table. Then, hmm, what's next? Oh, yes. Yeah, slice some fresh flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. What? No way. This isn't right. Sure, sure, it's not right, but how could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia. Is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing's right here, so shut the shard up and do what I tell you. Uh, you promise you'll tell me how to get home? You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Taking, talking skulls never lie, and then bring the beer to me. I mean, that also feels like a lie. I mean, but we're gonna do it, because we have no other choice. Uh, extract flesh, yes. Alright. I can now create a burger, a sandwich, or baked meat. That's disgusting. You'll get used to it. So what should I do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. Take the corpse and I'll wait for you in the graveyard. I need to, like, pick up the corpse. Yeah, take body. Okay. I mean, yeah, I've got a lot of land. A lot of graves. A lot of me getting stuck on random stuff. Let's bury it. Use the blueprint desk for the graveyard, mark a slight for the grave, then dig it with your shovel. Alright, well, let's just put this here. Oh, we can make a flower bed. Alright, now if we dig. Cool. Then put a body in the grave, bury it, decorate it. How do I. Oh, hey. Let's bury it. Cool. Nicely done. Hmm. This burial certificate, I remember. Money. Alcohol. Alcohol. Hmm. I sure used to like it a lot. Oh, sorry. Here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Okay. Oh, no. I know. Ask him about the burial certificate. He should know something. I better leave now. I'll be in the morgue, waiting for my beer. Okay. Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I even come here every week? We had a lot of, uh, bishops. Okay, ah, uh, Keeper, there you are. A lot of achievements. I don't know if I said achievements or bishops. I'm very unsure at the moment of what I said. I'm sorry, but I have to tell you this is your, <laughs> I have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. You tell me you got here. There's no way I'm promoting you to clergic until you fix it. All right, current name, important information. Grave increases the overall quality. Repair graves. Alright, as soon as your graveyard is quality at least five, I'll be pleased to promote you. You look like a spiritual leader and I'm a good judge of character. Haha, ha, I'm good at everything. That's why I was chosen to represent his will. Haha. Ha. Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in a trunk somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by next week. In fact, I come here every week. Maybe I'm dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Why is it that you come here? It's part of my duty, the unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his uh, might and glory. I'll have this one tiny question. What is a burial certificate? As soon as the body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the tavern. All right. Um, uh, leave. If you run out of repair kits, well, fix and gave her, you can always craft new ones. Cool. We've got some new stuff. Right, let's, we don't have enough for any of this. I mean, oh wait, we want to take stuff out of the trunk, probably. I mean, we don't need any of this, but I'm going to take two. I'm going to take all of this. Cool. No gravestone, no graves fence. So we'd probably need to build all of that. Our quality is so negative. Can we just like... So we can dig up these trees and stuff. This is basically farming. But very limited energy. It's telling me to go do other stuff, but... I mean, this is probably a good thing to do as well. Getting a lot of resources. It's less misty here. Was it only misty because of how bad of a graveyard I had? Who knows? I mean, we'll go get the beer for that guy. Can we also dig up this? 
Yeah, so you can get more resources just by random stuff. Cool. I mean, that fence is broken. I should probably fix that. Off to the tavern we go, though. I hope everyone suspects me as, like, the new graveyard. Everyone knows that I'm, like, the new graveyard ke keeper because I don't know much about me or how to make conversation. That place seems blocked off. We can read a sign, though, maybe? Yeah, do you want to read this? Witch Hill. I mean, which hill is it? Who knows? Can we pick a flower? Oh, we can. I have to hold down. Why? Oh, let's grab these. Should probably use them for the graves. I mean, the tavern's quite far. There's some farms. I'm starting to get worried that it won't be open. Okay. So welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I'm a her. I am her horadic. How can I help you? I came from the graveyard, I woke up today, and things have been crazy since then. <laughs> Doesn't seem to care. Oh, sorry, how can I not have recognized you? Good thing is good. Things are looking bright for our small village. When are you planning on opening the church? I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure, it's been a while since anyone took care of it. So let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? I'd like to trade you some fresh meat. Meat is a delicacy to our village, but I'll only buy it. I'll be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. Uh, find a stamp and sell meat. <laughs> Many years ago, there was an accident and uh, inappropriate meat. Ever since, all meat must be approved by a royal attorney. I don't, uh, I don't need any trouble in the town. Does your meat have a stamp? Actually, no. I don't even want to know where you can get an authorized meat, but wow, it does look really good. Without a stamp, my hands are tied. We're secretly selling it. Oh, you can get send a form to the royal court through the mailbox near your church, but it'll cost you a bundle. There's another way, I'll tell you, because I'll tell you just because we're neighbors. Come closer. There's a guy called Snake. I think he has a fake real stamp, but to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Miss Charm. She comes here every... Female? I bet she can help you find Snake. Thanks. Trade. Oh, okay, so let's give him a burial certificate. The bishop told me you would buy my burial certificates. Yeah, he's right. As the head of the village, according to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Of course, only if I have any money. What do you mean? <laughs> The village is going through hard times, we're short on money, but as soon as you open the church, pilgrims with lots of shiny coins to the village. Uh, uh, can I have, like, a beer? Oh, Keeper, can you kindly take this letter to your local blacksmith? Sure, where can I find him? The southeastern corner of the village. I mean, can I just sell you this? I need a beer. Fifteen. I don't have enough. We've got lots of food. Alright, we did get a beer. That's good. He doesn't want any other crap. I'm gonna go talk to this girl. You must be the new gravekeeper. So, I've been told. How do you know? Oh, if you live as long as I have, you'll probably learn how to read people too. But where's my manners? I'm Miss Ch Chain, her ex-wife. Nice to meet you. I have a few questions about... Oh, you better talk with my husband. He's in charge around here. He's not only the tavern keeper, but he's also elected head of the village. Besides, he really does like to talk. All I can do is sell you some recipes. Well, that'll be helpful for later. Let's go. Alright. I'm a guard in the dark. Cool, good for you. I don't know where the blacksmith is. I mean, I was definitely told, but I don't know. Good day, sir. We sell the freshest dairy products in the village. Do you have any fresh beef? I don't. No, sir. Cows are our friends. I bet they even eat human flesh. Are you okay? A lot of houses. I mean, and I'm totally gonna feed people human flesh, so...
The path to the town is closed. You need a town pass. Okay. I don't really know how this world works. I don't really remember where the graveyard is. What's like a big log? I don't know how to do anything with a big log. Oh, this looks like, this is like a blacksmith's. Hey, what is it that you're staring at? Nothing, just looking around. I am the keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name's Kresovold. Give him a letter. I have a letter for you from Hardwick. A letter, of course, one minute away, and he can't be bothered to come himself. Yeah, I guess old habits never die. Thank you. Sorry for my nagging. It seems it's my new habit. Hmm, slimes again. Heratic asked me to get rid of them. I don't have the time for the pesky little green bastards, but maybe you can help. Take this rusty sword and an energy potion. The sword is broken, but you can repair it with a wool stone on the grinder behind me. You can keep the wool stone. Maybe you'll need to repair your shovel sometime. If you manage to kill them, bring me the remains, and I'll spare you some materials. They should be right up on the other side of my house near the puddles. All right. Yep. Ask him where to find metal ore. Let's leave. Where did he want me to, like, fix stuff? Oh, do I need to do this now? Okay, let's do it now. Craft. Pick a resource. This. Craft. I don't have a whole lot of energy left. Okay. Um... Not enough energy left. Right, so I can't do the rest of this. I did too much pulling wood. It's not what I'm here for, though. I don't really want to do your job. I'm going to take this back to my house. Pick it up. I'm going to pretend I definitely know where my house is. I don't. I feel like it's far, though. I feel like we're on the very outskirts of the village, probably because we're going to be selling human flesh to them. I'm quite liking this game so far, though, I'm gonna be honest. I'm really excited about selling human flesh. I'm really excited about whatever garden I'm gonna end up with in my graveyard. It all seems to be very good. I mean, it's bad, but, like, also good. Psst, come here. Where have you been? I was at the village. This place is so weird, but it feels so real. And everybody is okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. Sorry, you're stealing my thoughts. Stealing. I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provision must be stored there. You've unlocked technology so I can gather stuff. Wheat, exactly. I remember baking bread out of it and pies and sweet berry pies. Alright, so I can make food. Toast, onion toast. Oh, that's good with beer. Sorry, you know what? I need beer. This is beginning to feel like a one-sided relationship. Bring me beer and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff, like when you get home. Questions? How can I get home? It was rhetorical. Do I look like a magic head with all the answers? Technically, yes. Sardines, you smart ass. I'll be waiting for that beer in my place. No beer, no answers. I mean, I have the beer. That's where my garden's gonna be. Right over there. My farm. I watched the trailer to this game, and this went there. This is where rocks go. Uh, blueprints. Chess. Okay. What's that sound? Looks like a bad thing. Damn, gate. I'll come here every night if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. That's the snake guy. Okay. Looks like I can remove the blockage and fortify the arch. Okay, so there's a tunnel through my house that he's using. Cool. Not enough energy, that's fine. Recipe, simple and tasty. I have a beer, but I'm not sure where the skull is. I should probably just sleep. I mean, I'm gonna put, like, my flowers in here. I don't know. Can we wake up yet? Saving progress, right? So it's just taking its time. That's fine. So refreshed. This is not good. Not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new graveyard keeper. Hooray, a keeper. Wow, I've been here for hmm, how long? I'm Yorick. 
I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait, no, on the contrary. I'm very glad to see you. We have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. That sounds like something you can help us with. I'm not exactly sure why I'm here, actually. Gary only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick, and he's Gary. Ah, I'm half-dead skull, that jealous bastard. Ah, he can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible here, especially that guy in the lower right corner of the grave. He's so mean. Could you just get rid of him? Just dig him up and throw him in the river. I can even give you this license I stole back when I was alive. What license? You're such a dummy. To dig up a corpse, you need to use a license. The old keeper used to bury, buy them through the mailbox near the church. All right, well, I'm going to help my new best friend. Because we're friends. I have fire here. Oh, I can cook. Well, I need to cook, though. I've got, like, so many things to do. All right, so we got some flowers. All right, we probably need to just grab that. We probably need to craft some stuff. I'm not sure which grave you want us to uncover is all. Like, I don't know. But I guess it's time to like clean up some of these graves. We can make study not complete, study not complete, craft stone cutters. So like this one's wood. Can I edit this wooden cross? Fix grave. Not enough energy. This is all my energy. It's all gone. Are you kidding me? Oh, we can build flower beds. All right, so we need flowers and stones. Oh, so it's about to start where she wants the church opens again. All of our stuff, we didn't even finish upgrading it. Like, we still need to like get rocks and stuff. We need to eat food. <laughs> As it turns out, we need to eat food in this game. A crematorium where we can burn people. All right, morgue. There's no bodies in the morgue. Do I just go to bed? Like I'm, I'm completely out of energy. I mean, I'll put some more flowers in. Okay. Sorry I couldn't move the body. I tried to repair one grave and it took everything out of me. Oh, I need to let it sleep for longer. So, like, the sleep bar was slowly increasing. You have to be patient? I'm not patient. All right, we'll let him sleep for a bit. Maybe that's why our stuff went by so fast because like I barely slept. Okay. That makes a little bit more sense. I mean, it's also nighttime. <laughs> well, I guess it's fine. We can repair some graves at night. I feel like everything is so far away from each other. Also, I'm just going to axe a few of this so that I can maybe make some stuff. I don't know. I don't currently have any flowers in my inventory. I'll just grab all that. Alright, so now you're just negative one, but why are you negative one? Gravestone fence. You're positive now. Wooden cross. I mean, we don't have a whole lot of these kits. No grave fence. We need to make a grave fence first. Grave site, flower bed. Wood grave site. Like, we need to make a gravestone and stuff, but I'm unsure how. I 
I mean, that one looks much better. But I'm very aware that I'm gonna run out of these. Oh yeah, we're out of those. That's a bit better. Where's this mailbox I keep hearing about? I don't see one. We should probably go fight slimes for resources. Maybe. Maybe we should dig up stuff. Do that. Who knows? I mean, I feel like we should probably grab some flowers. I very much like flowers. Do we need mushrooms? Need a technology. Okay, like a shovel? Is that what you're calling a technology? Is this wheat mine? This is a grave. Why is there just a grave here? You know, I probably shouldn't ask questions at this point. Let's go kill some slime so that some guy will be more happy with me and give me some resources and hopefully I can do more. Can I steal this guy's vegetables though? Cause like that'd be fun. Totally can. These are mine now. Also got some seeds. Which is double good. Are you ripe? You look ripe. No, okay. Don't tell the farmer. <laughs> Lots of random people in this town I feel like I need to talk to, but I'm just going to ignore them currently. Yep, you're working. Let me grab the slimes out back. Is, is that good? I mean, I see more, like, stuff I can probably take. No? Can I take some of this? No. Okay. Whatever. Killed your slimes. Defeated slimes. I got an iron. Good job. Take this wheat stone to sharpen your broken tools as they get new. How do I find metal ore? I like to work with metal myself. Where can I find some ore? You can find ore in the swamp soil. There's a huge swamp to the west across the river. Just collect it there before the bridge collapsed. Okay. Cool. Let's go into the basement and repair the things so that Snake can come so that he can give me a stamp so I can start selling. Uh, breeding villager, if you spare silver, I can offer you amazing, tasty, rare treats. I'm Lil Hodge, but I'm not buying any of your chic stuff unless it's something valuable. I doubt you can find some hick thing like that here. Actually, I'm new here. Everyone thinks I'm the local, the keeper at the local graveyard, but I'm from another world and I need to go back. I understand you too well. This world is not mine, Hick. Oh, thank God. Mine is the world of grandeur, Hick, the places of the town. But I'm so lucky to be highborn, so this earns Hick. My coins here is my oil. Oh, yes. uh, scare him to cure his hiccups. Are you mad? What are you doing? I was only trying to help you cure your hiccups. It's a full thing to do. I just need a little time. The shark fin steak I ate this morning was so delicious, but I have to admit the golden fried butterfly wings stole the show. It seems like you're okay now after my little surprise attack. Yes, it seems so. I thought he was drunk. <sighs> I find it interesting that the day and night cycle don't happen like, like I can just sleep in the middle of the day and suddenly it's nighttime. I don't have to be up at regular hours and I can just sleep when I want. I don't know. What's this? Can I break this? No? All right. Just get back home. Like, this is mine. Can I build here yet? Build. Garden. See, this is my garden. Craft information. So do I need to clean off this area first? Because I can do that. And I believe I have seeds. Probably need to unlock some crafting to do with gardens before I can garden. No, all right, but at least it's clear for when we're ready. All right, 
don't want to go. We're downstairs. I don't know where this skull has gone. This is wheat. This is wheat. This is wheat. Cleared path. I need a lot of stuff. Okay. Well, that's gonna be metal. Which is probably good. Well, that's a board. We need one of those. More metal. More metal. More wood. Also, this one's not enough energy. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna put away some of my stuff. Put away seeds. Simple and tasty. How do I just use the recipe? Like, I just use you. We're also gonna put away crop waste. I don't know more flowers. Probably this. Um, actually, let's use the wheat to cook, right? Because the other guy said bread. So let's grab this, and let's also grab all of that, and let's see what we can make. Alright, so we can have raw sliced meat. That doesn't sound fun. We can make... We have water. Kale can be good for sandwich. Ugh. Fine. Also, we have an energy potion. How do we like go into our menu? Yeah, I want to continue. Where's how do I not enough energy? Okay, fine. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm also gonna put meat in here. <laughs> sure. <coughs> oh, but I don't know how to use the energy potion either. I guess we'll just sleep. Gotta let it go so that we can actually sleep. I wonder if we sleep better at night. That would make a lot of sense. Oh, you can wake up, beef. Yeah, so refreshed. Yeah, I bet. I mean, I feel like we're not doing like at least a third of our tasks. I have no idea how to make new things to fix the graves, but I definitely need to fix the graves to open up the church so that people have money. I'm not getting any new bodies, which is a shame. And ultimately, we are here for a garden, so... I'm gonna take... Oh, I took everything, okay. I mean, we could build a flower bed today. The door is locked. Okay. What's this sign? This area is closed due to ancient curse. Okay. How do we fix more graves? How do we fix more graves? It's like a sinkhole here. This is locked. Need technology. Okay. Ooh, got some berries. Right, there's the river that I meant to throw the body into. Should we dig up a grave? He said, I don't know, bottom right, is it this one that's all by itself? Grave. Okay, I don't have it. It's back home? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I bet you it's this one. Oh, I bet you the head's in the morgue. Let's go talk to the head. I don't know how to see what my quests are. Here you are. I have a gift for you. Hey, where's my beer? Do I not have a beer anymore? Well, I was pretty sure I had a beer. Maybe I just emptied everything. Okay. Like, this should just be meat. I do have a beer in my inventory. Oh, 
let's grab that. Uh, let's throw a body in the river. There's not much else we need to do, so let's just throw a body in the river. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. It will be fine. It will be fine. Just want to sell some meat to some people in town. Uh, can I at least, like, harvest them? Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure. Cool. I'm gonna take its meat first. <laughs> and then I'm gonna throw them in the river. No, I need to pick up the body. Okay. Then enter. Nope. I need you to... Cool. Yep. I need you to extract the flesh because we might need this. We don't have a fridge, but we'll just pretend we do have a fridge. And that this isn't like super gross. And we're just gonna throw this body in the river for that ghost friend of ours. <laughs> Who we can definitely trust because they were randomly at our house. Cool, here's the river. Bam. Okay. Okay. I don't want to repair I want No, I don't. Nope. It won't let me throw it in the river. Toss it in the river. I don't know what to do. I was told to throw it in the river. Can't seem to. I'm gonna leave it by the river <laughs> in hopes that that somehow is what they meant. It sounded like our little donkey friend was back. Um, donkey just left. Donkey's like, I don't care. Cool. Nope, you need to stay in. I'm gonna autopsy it. Let's take it. Cool. So we've got two bodies. I'm letting the other one rot. The guy said that he wasn't a good person. If he's not a good person, I don't want him around. Right? Sure. Alright. Probably fine. Everything's probably fine. I'm gonna stop here because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, if you want to check out this game for yourself, I would. There's a link in the description. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. And yeah, this is quite a fun game. I don't know how to get dirt. I don't know how to get a lot of things. I really want to build a farm. Oh, there's a thing. Let's look at this. The garden property is forfeited for commercial use. Aw. Aw. I better contact him, then I get a garden. Okay. <laughs>